guys, welcome back to Twins Try. I'm Christy. I'm Wing. And today we're trying snacks from Portugal, with some snacks being specifically from the Azores. So the Azores is an island, I believe it is part of Portugal, but they do have their own like dialect of Portuguese. I think they're called the Azorians. Um, so my coworker is actually the one who got us a bunch of these snacks, and I'm super excited to try them because some of these are like specifically for Easter, like cool traditional snacks that uh, are eaten all the time. So, mm -hmm. and some of them may seem a little bit more familiar to you, like the Portuguese egg tart, mm -hmm. which is something that we have eaten the variation similar. of mm -hmm. when we were growing up. Yeah, and so that's called pastel de nata. Um, so there's a bunch of snacks. I'm super excited to try them all. Mm -hmm. It looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Well, I'll start with the one I'm very excited for. This is, I think, a cheesecake or something very similar. Um, what he wrote is quejadas. Um, I might be mispronouncing them, but from what he told me, this is traditionally eaten during Easter. If you can't tell, there's two uh, eggs here. At the time of filming, it is almost Easter. I don't know when we'll put this out. <laughs> but um, it's very interesting because there's two hard boiled eggs, I, I yeah. believe at least, that they're hard boiled. The shell is still on them. So it's pretty interesting to see. I've never seen anything like yeah. this before, and I think it's pretty fascinating to be able to try this. Yeah, smell it. It smells like milk bread, mm -hmm. right? So this is Azorian sweet bread. Pretty excited. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. fluffy. Here, cut yourself a piece. It smells super, super sweet. It smells like milk bread, like we mentioned, which is something that we have <clears throat> at uh, Chinese bakeries. Okay, the cutting is not very good. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. It's sweeter than milk bread. Mm hmm Very fluffy. Very good. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get the rest of my piece. Mmm. It's good. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's a lot, uh, a tad sweeter than the Asian breads that we get, but I like it. It's pretty good. Yeah, I feel like this would go good with like warm. Yeah. I was like something warm because this is sweet mm -hmm. and maybe like a little bit of butter too. Mm -hmm. Like salted butter. I think it would be a great contrast to it. Mm -hmm. Very because good. it's sweet. Mm -hmm. Take out the egg and see if it's an actual egg. An egg. Is it really hard boiled? I don't know. Is that candy? No, no it's, it's not boiled. Mm. I don't feel like eating an egg. Okay, I just wanted to confirm. Okay, it's hard boiled egg. Sweet. Man, I want more. That was good. The next thing we have is a rice pudding. It smells very, very good, actually. I think it's sprinkled on top with like a little bit of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is Azorian sweet rice. It's made with milk, eggs, and lemon. And it looks like it has cinnamon sprinkled on top. Mm -hmm. Looks really good. I am a fan of like Mexican arroz con leche. It looks kind of similar to that. Uh, but this one, I think it has addition of the lemon. So I think yeah. it'll add a nice little twist to it. I'm mm -hmm. excited. And then a little story behind this is the store owner is actually a uh, somebody that my friend personally knows and so they stayed late just to make sure that he could come pick this up. And I think it kind of speaks volumes to the like family, familial culture of um, Portuguese and Azorean like just upbringings is like, hey, we take care of each other. You asked me for this. I'm definitely gonna make sure I come through for you kind of situation. Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go ahead and try. Yeah. You can take to the, the honors. Part. Yeah. All right. So it's kind of thick. I think thicker than arroz con leche. Yeah, I think you can make it, it like prepare it either more watery or or thick at least for arroz con leche. But this one looks like it's thicker. Yeah, like, it's like a pudding. It's yeah. face put. Mm hmm. Mm. Similar vibes to arroz con leche though. It's really good. Do you taste the mm -mm. lemon? Not really. Not like super robustly there. I think it's more for like holding it or stabilizing it or something. 
because it got eggs in. Mmm, interesting. It's really good. Mmm. It is a little bit different. I think the egg makes it so thick. Yeah, it's texturally like thicker mm -hmm. than arroz con leche. It's really good. Mm -hmm. And it has like, like a very creamy creaminess that mm -hmm. you don't get from arroz con leche normally. This is really good. I think I prefer this over. Yeah, this is really good. And the cinnamon like makes it so fragrant and mm -hmm. really, really, I don't know, more depth to it. Yeah, I like it. Mm-hmm. This is a good one. I definitely, yeah, I don't taste the lemon though, but maybe it's just like the zest or something in there. Mm -hmm. It does taste very fragrant. I yeah. like that. It tastes very fresh. Mm -hmm. And it's not super sweet. Yeah. Mm. This is called the Quejadas. It's originally from Portugal and it's very famous in Macau, which is an old, colon, old Portuguese colony island off of China. In 1999-ish, it was given back to China but Macau, they still actually speak Portuguese as their first language. And this is actually probably why Chinese people also eat something very similar to yeah. this. Uh, we eat something called Dan Ta. And there's actually a little bit of difference between the pastry that's being used um, and then the custard is also a little bit different too. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember why and it's 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> we'll put that on the screen. Yeah, It's really cool though that there's something so similar but there's like a little variation. Mm -hmm. And in Chinese, we call this pou ta. Yeah, pou tao, which is yeah. Portuguese. No, the ta. No, no, but like pou tao is Portuguese. Portuguese or Portugal. Yeah. And then ta is like tart. So yeah. pou ta is yeah. Portuguese tart, but condensed down to two words. So it's pou ta and dan ta, which dan ta is egg tart. Yeah, the one that we eat. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's give this a try. So just based on the cut down the middle, it's a little less eggy than uh, Chinese or the egg tarts that we grew up eating. I think the custard here is a little bit more dense. It's so good. Mm -hmm. It is more custardy. Mm -hmm. It's very delicious. Yeah, the skin is very flaky. I think egg tarts traditionally for us is a lot more of a Harder. cookie. Mm -hmm. uh, tart, it kind of... The Chinese ones, it kind of reminds me more of a pie crust. Mm -hmm. This one, it reminds me of flaky layers of a pastry. Yeah, like there's so many layers on this pastry right here. It's really, really good. The custard's nice and warm. Mm -hmm. And it's like... It almost turns liquidy. Mm -hmm. It's like, um, yeah, like liquid gold. It's really good. Mm -hmm. The next thing we have is Santa Catarina. Azores. So this is actually specifically from the Azores. Um, and this is a tuna that's in tomato paste. Tomato sauce. Oh, tomato sauce. Yeah. But it's a solid tuna. Um, my friend said drain a little bit of the liquids. liquids. Drain a little bit of the liquids and it's supposed to go great with bread and kind of just dip it and eat it with your hands. So mm. super excited. Now I will say I'm not a big canned tuna fan, so I'm excited to see if this will change my mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it literally says Azores here, and then um, cer Certificado Bella Natureza. I think it's certified natural or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And omega threes. So one thing that I noticed is that uh, Azorians like to eat with their hands. Um, I had dinner with them um, and we had seafood and it was in like some sauce and bread was there and everyone just ate with their hands and I tried to eat everything <laughs> with my fork, but um, except the lobster because I eventually had to peel that. Cheers. It's a big chunk of fish. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's better than our canned tuna, mm -hmm. but the texture is a little dry. It's dried or canned fish texture. Flavor-wise, really good. Mm -hmm. Texturally, a little bit dry. Yeah, but the oils might help with that if mm -hmm. you like, kind of mix it in, mm -hmm. mix it together. Yeah, 
Yeah, I like the tomato. It adds a nice um interesting flavor, flavor that we normally don't get because mm -hmm. normally I feel like tuna is just kind of like super salty and not very good. This is like seasoned well and delicious. Mm -hmm. And I think all tuna comes out of a can kind of dry and flaky. So mm -hmm. I think that's just how they have to can it. Yeah. But what they did to make it elevated was the tomato paste. I think that really helps I think if it. you mix the tomato, it might make it less flaky, but I didn't feel like pouring it out into a bowl. Yeah, really good. Mm -hmm. And we have two chocolates from the same brand. Um, Lechina, Legina. Uh, one is passion fruit and one is almonds. Oh, I never had passion fruit chocolate before. Yeah. At least to my memory. We might have from a different country, but yeah, it looks pretty remember. good. Yeah. So passion fruit is maracuja, and then almonds is amendoas. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and try. So the first piece I have is the almond one. That snaps really nicely. Mm -hmm. It has a nice, like, crisp snap. snap. Yeah, yeah, it breaks apart real mm -hmm. well. Mmm. Mm. Pretty good. Chocolate's really smooth. Mm-hmm. Not too sweet either. Mm-hmm. Which is, Which is a compliment. Yeah. No, it's just chocolate. Milk chocolate. Mm hmm This is a really smooth milk chocolate. Mm hmm It's really good. Mm hmm like it. Yeah. I wish there was like a touch more almonds because I feel like it was almost minimal. It's like all at the bottom. Mm hmm But but you do get a couple pieces. Mm hmm It's good. Yeah, it's stuck in my teeth. And the last thing we have is this passion fruit chocolate which I'm really excited for. Cheers. It's such a nice snap. It doesn't have like a filling. I yeah. broke my piece wrong. Yeah, I <laughs> thought it'd have a filling, but I think they just kind of flavor it throughout. Yeah. So let's give it a taste. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's really good. fragrant. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting because I was like, oh, there's no filling, so it won't be, you know, very passion fruity. But it is actually really fragrant throughout. Yeah, like the minute I put it near my mouth, I kind of inhaled that scent. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty prominent. Yeah, so I think passion fruit is actually really a popular thing. Mm -hmm. While I was over, I had small uh, pa uh, passion fruit drink, which is kind of like passion fruit nectar. Um, I think it, it came in a can and it was nectary and not it was sugary, but not in the sense that it was like so sweet that it was um, like soda. Mm -hmm. It was like like a thicker juice or something. Yeah, it was nectar. It tasted like nectar. Um, that's the best way I could describe it. Was passion fruit nectar? Like it was so good. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've had the passion fruit fruits before, mm -hmm. and that was pretty good. Yeah, I mean this was definitely way sweeter than the passion fruit mm -hmm. uh, you typically have because passion fruit is typically like. A little bit sour, yeah. sometimes very sour. I, I can't eat passion fruit for yeah. that reason. It's too tart for me. Yeah, but they definitely sweetened it a lot, uh, the sumo. Mm -hmm. um, but then this chocolate is very, very fragrant throughout, but yeah. it's still very chocolate forward. Yep, mm -hmm. I like it a lot. I think I do prefer the passion fruit one a little bit more because it's pretty interesting. Yeah, it is definitely very anything like mm -hmm. that before. Well, that about wraps up our Portuguese and Azorian video. Pretty interesting to see. I haven't seen a lot of these foods before and it was a nice time to try it. Yeah, and then it was also really refreshing to see things that we were familiar with because we grew up in Hong Kong, which is right next to Macau, actually. Mm -hmm. um, and we're able to kind of see the difference between our egg tarts and the Portuguese egg tarts. Mm -hmm. Very big differences. and. It kind of makes me wish our egg tarts were a little bit more creamy and yeah, uh, yeah, but it's very good. Yeah. <laughs> well, which one was your favorite? I think my favorite's the egg tart. What about you? Yeah, the egg tart because we heated it up. It was so nice and warm, mm -hmm. and it was like not sweet, but it was still clearly a dessert, yeah. and it was very, very creamy. The inside and the egg kind of turned like melted, and yeah, like, you could almost drink like it. lava. -y. Yeah, yeah, and then it was very nice because the tart is flaky. Mm -hmm. And so you bite through flakes and you could really taste like the texture difference and it was just very nice and yeah. complex. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get to see our next videos. And as always, let us know what you try next. On Twins Try. Bye. Bye.